Hello YouTubers out there, my name is Ultimate Gamer XP, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use your PS4 controller on your PC. So do not click away. Okay, so we're going to want to have a program called DS4 Windows. I'm going to have this link down in the description below. It will take you to a page that should look like this. You want to download the one that's next to latest release. Just click the ds for windowszip and download it to where you want to have it downloaded. I already downloaded it so I'm not going to actually do it right now. It should look like this. All you're going to want to do is just double click ds for windows and it should open like this now this is only going to come up the first time you open it you're just going to hit install the ds4 driver wait for it to install and if you're on windows 7 like it says just click this to install the 360 driver if you're not on the 360 i mean if you're not on windows 7 sorry then you don't need to do that step you can just hit finish as soon as this one's done So just hit finish. Now, to get started right away, all you're going to need to do is just plug in your PS4 controller to your PC using the USB. It should come up like that. Now, it's just going to show your control ID. It's going to tell you that it's connected via USB, and then it's going to tell you your battery. You also have profiles. We're going to get to profiles later on in a little bit. Profiles are just like different control schemes for different games. So yeah, you can also change the color of the controller as it's plugged in. As you can see, mine set to yellow. You could just click the color, hit custom color, and you can choose whatever color you want it to be. It's really cool. It's a little interesting, nice little feature. You could even do use custom color, define custom color, and you know, just mess around with this green, blue, red, pinkish. You can do whatever color you want. I prefer green, so it's my favorite color. So, yeah. Okay, so now profiles. This is the part that is the most important. This allows us to change what buttons are known as what like key on the keyboard so it like works correctly with the game so you can make specific different uh, profiles for different games so you could just do new and make a new profile for a new game I could be like um I could say uh, if I was gonna play Flappy Bird I'd only need one thing and that'd be X and I want that to be space and I could be like oh here's a Flappy Bird you know profile and then whenever I want to play it I just go to that profile and whenever I press X on my thing it will now be space so I'll show you how to edit your profiles either choose edit or new profile I recommend just doing a new profile and if you want to set specific controls for, diff for specific keys just click that button and it will bring up the keyboard and mouse and just choose whatever key on the keyboard you want to be for that button you just hit so I hit X so I want that to be I don't know I'll, I'll keep it as space just because that's a jumping key if we were playing something like Call of Duty circle would be crouch so I'll do circle as control because that is how it is in the PC triangle would be choosing a different weapon so I'll be like two I don't know that's pretty much that's how it pretty much works you could even use the motion sensors right here the gyro the gyroscope built in to the uh, controller if you really wanted you could use it as a specific control like tilt up and then you could assign it as a specific button on here so maybe if you want to you know reload in the game you could put R that's reload in PC so now whenever I tilt up whenever I move my controller up it will push the key R so you could use that as like a reload thing uh, you could even use the gyroscope to control the mouse so I'm gonna show you that real here real quick as you can see 
I set it to mouse, and so it should, if I go to default, because that's the one where I set it to, now I could control the mouse with the controller. And you could just set it to whatever profile you want, like, and you could just cust create custom controls. Uh, yeah, for anything. If you really want, I can make custom profiles for you guys. All you would need to do is just comment down below what game you want me to make the PS4 controls on a what PC game. So like tell me if you wanted to play Minecraft on PC with the PS4 controller, just to comment that down below and I will go ahead and make a specific profile for that and put it as a download and link it to you as a reply in the comment. If I did that, all you would need to do is download it, hit import, and then import that profile and then choose it in the profiles list right here. So yeah, if you want me to make you a profile for a specific game, comment down below what game you want it to be, and I'll go ahead and do that and comment back with a download file. So yeah, that is how you use a PS4 controller on a PC. So yeah. And I'm sorry if the mic quality isn't the best. I usually use Audacity and then I'll fix up my audio so it sounds better. But Audacity wasn't really working out for me today. So I had to use this. So I'm sorry and I didn't want to mess around with Audacity and have to make this video come out later than it's already going to have to be. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace.